I love this question. It makes me chuckle. If I get nuts around a specific patient, that's information about me, not them. So why am I nuts? Maybe I'm trying too hard to help and frustrated they won't let me. If so, I have to back off and listen harder. Or maybe the patient is messing with me, trying to rile me to see what I'll do. That has certainly happened. If so, I can say something subtle like, you're driving me nuts. How can we use that in your therapy? They'll say, what do you mean? I'll say, well if you're driving me nuts, and I'm being paid to be patient and open and everything, so I imagine you drive other people nuts even more sometimes, and you said you wanted to get better with people so you didn't get fired again. I dunno, but you are driving me nuts. You can keep doing it or I can show you a different way to connect and get what you need. Or maybe I'm messing things up and don't know what's going on. In that case I get supervision. For 10 years I had a 90-minute lunch with another psychologist and we always talked about cases and shared support and ideas. Once I sat down to lunch and said, can I go first? This client is drying me nuts will all the right-wing political rants. Dot. Dot quote. My supervision partner knew me very well, and helped me see how I was part of the problem. Next time I saw the guy he stopped making me nuts. On my supervisor's suggestion, I went, 100% Rogerian, meaning I paid very close attention to him and did all I could to understand his, internal frame of reference, and let him know by respectful summaries that I held him in, unconditional positive regard. It worked. He felt heard and respected and safer with me, and later it became clear that all the right-wing stuff was testing me. His biggest fear was rejection and I did the opposite, and I wouldn't have thought of it without my supervision, at least not that soon.